Just finished editing and it's uploading now. And if this says anything about how late slash early it is, let's just say I'm not in the swing of vlogging editing again. It's 712. I'll catch you in a few hours. <laughs> I've had some breakfast, which you guys saw. Whoever made those, they were amazing. Update from last night is that I got the ThinkPad working. Um, the cables for the monitor to my Mac Pro that I picked up um, do not work. I need to go back. But the power cable does work. So overall, it was a positive yesterday. Especially since I got the ThinkPad working. I just finished talking with my mom on FaceTime for quite a while. It's nice. We catch up every week. It's nice to do that. I you know, see what's happening back home. And so she sees kind of what's happening here. Oh, these vlogs are nice for her as well. And my dad as well. But he's at work right now, so I didn't get to talk to him. Anyway. I'm going to make some pancakes for lunch. Yes, I know that's going to be three meals in a row that are based around pancakes, but I don't mind. However, after talking to my mom, I will be going grocery shopping today. I am going to get some advice from some people as to what to buy at the grocery store. Thanks to Cat and Graham, I have a more complete list of some ingredients to get at the grocery store um, so I can cook quote unquote real food. Alright, I'm just running to Stata right before I go over to Simmons, before I go to the grocery store. Uh, it's probably going to be dark by the time I go to the grocery store. Got the cable I needed. I can now connect my Mac Pro that I got from here to a monitor that was left behind by someone in Newhouse 3. Um, and I'll have a working computer that I think I'm going to edit on. So that should be very useful. In case you guys weren't sure which building Stata was at MIT, it's this crazy looking one. And by crazy, I personally mean crazy cool looking, but it does look very weird. Alright, so just finished working on that 18,240 piece puzzle. It's ridiculous. Um, I worked on it before for quite a few hours. I didn't work on it for quite as long this time. I am headed to the grocery store now. Time to get food for the next week. We always say that it has to fit in the basket, because if it doesn't fit in the basket, then you probably don't want to carry it all the way back to Newhouse. See? Applesauce. I get my fruits then. Still buying ramen because ramen's super cheap and is a good meal. Soup. That's in the middle. High in sodium, but good meal. Except these are going to be super heavy to carry home. Ugh. 
Alright. Truly did plan on buying chicken today. But it's so darned expensive. For the amount that the chicken costs, I can get like five separate meals. The cheapest chicken is the bread chicken, and I feel like then I might as well just get something else. Like, it's not just chicken. I don't know. So I didn't get any chicken, but I am going to get eggs, so I will have protein again. Other than just peanut butter. Um, the meat's just so expensive. Also, I only have to last one more week, so it's really not a big deal. Um, I will have fruit, so that's a change. Um, and I'm stocking up on bread. But really, everything that's healthy is super expensive these days. Maybe I'll buy butter and cheese. As usual, I'm just going to eat them as pasta, but it's cheaper than the pasta they sell here. And I'm not going to buy milk, because milk's $4 for a gallon of milk. One, that's expensive. Two, I'd have to carry it back. That's definitely a no-go. Anyway, this is going to be more expensive than my 3288. And it's going to last me longer. So in case I get hungry during the semester late at night, I'll have something to eat. Um, but I'm going to go check out now. I'm pretty sure I have three weeks of food. Alright, I'm going to go through this. So there's two loaves of bread, which based priorly, if it's the same amount of pieces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, so it's roughly 14, so divided by 2 is 7. So that's 7 meals worth of bread per loaf. So it's already 14 meals of bread, assuming I use, say, the cheese and butter to make uh, grilled cheese, or use the eggs, which the eggs would only last for like 7 meals. So I can make 7 meals with the eggs and 7 meals with the grilled cheese. So that's already a week's worth of food right there. And then I have 5 meals on this, 12 meals on this, so that is 17 more meals. So 17 plus 14, we're up to... Hmm? That's not 28, that's 31 meals. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, that's already 35 meals. And then I have bananas and applesauce for nutrients and multivitamins. Plus, I have PB&J to mix it up. And then there's pancakes in house for breakfast occasionally, as well as I have Cheerios have breakfast. There's easily three weeks yeah, worth of food here. It's easily three weeks worth of food. That's not even a question. Maybe if you like have no calorie expenditure. What? It's still a, close. It's three weeks if you only go two meals a day. No, no, because I have cereal and pancakes for the you're, third you're meal occasionally. Like the best part is that all that food only has to last me one week, so I can eat a ton of food in case you're worried that I don't have enough food um, because I can eat like twice what my like rationed out, I guess, uh, amount of food would be. Because I have ultimate at 9 o'clock and it's already 8.23, I think I'm going to have ramen for at least my first dinner. I might have some more food when I come back from ultimate, actually, I almost guaranteedly will. Um, but, so despite getting all this new food, I'm going to have ramen as my first meal after going to the grocery store. But, um, it's for a reason. Um, just wanted to give you a heads up. Alright guys, I'm back from my ultimate workout. That was a great workout. Uh, we did 
stretching, we got, uh, did some strengthening, we did some conditioning, and then afterwards, uh, I joked with someone that I was going to run a mile, and then he was like, well, you could at least run a kilometer, and that's only five laps around, and I was like, all right, I'll do that. So then I ran the kilometer, and by the time I finished the kilometer, I was like, it's only three more to get to the mile. So then I did a mile, and after I did a mile, I was like, well, that wasn't too bad, I'll just do another. So then I did two miles, and then after two miles, I was like, I remember watching a video that mentioned the 40% effect, where at 40%, you have an extra 40%. So you can always push yourself even farther. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm going to push myself. So I pushed myself and I went another mile. So I did three miles after the workout. All right, guys, so I just got out of the shower. And I'm about to make myself some chicken noodle soup. Um, I'm doing it the easy way in the microwave oven. Um, I feel actually quite good after that run and after a shower. I hope to be, be not a promise, Alright, the soup is all done. I should have pulled the trick my dad always pulls at home, which is add extra noodles. Um, because, I mean, if you stir it, they're there. But there's a lot of not noodles. I might also, uh, have some of my leftover pancakes. I uh, made too many as I usually do. So I left a sign and see how many I left. Oh yeah, one box is gone, but there's still two boxes left, so I might have some. And if they're still there in the morning, I'm probably gonna have them for breakfast as well. This is gonna be the end of the vlog, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, look at that.